So today I'm going to share how to create custom audiences based on conversions from campaigns or ad sets rather than using custom audience, uh, custom audiences as the seed audience. This can be really useful when you have exhausted, you know, all of your regular lookalike audiences, or you have such a diverse um, range of customers that it may make sense to segment uh, segment the customers from particular uh, campaigns, maybe reaching high value or low value customers or uh, something else. So if you don't have the uh, option to segment this through any other means, then this could be a really, really useful way. And unfortunately, this is not available via the, uh, via the ads manager, but only via API. So that's why uh, I pulled this up here. This has actually been a feature that has been available since, uh, since 2000. 14 and the idea is very very simple well you use previous conversions to build the lookalike audience to get new conversions and then based on those new conversions the lookalike audience gets updated so the idea is that you have a constantly refreshing uh, lookalike audience and on this site uh, you can just search for it conversion based lookalike audiences um, You'll see that uh, in order to to make this work we need at least 100 converters ideally 200 and then um, you can create uh, the lookalike audience. They provide a little bit of code here that in my point of view, just looks very, uh, very confusing. Um, but the really important part is actually down here where we're creating the lookalike audience. So I'll, I'm going to show you how, how you can do that. And in, uh, in the uh, graph API Explorer. So if you don't have a Facebook application, you will need to go to developers.facebook.com and create uh, a Facebook app. Uh, with that Facebook app, you can then get an access token, which is basically a username, password combination um, to access your Facebook accounts programmatically. The, the API call to, uh, to do this is to the account, um, to the ad account, and then to the custom audiences endpoint. And we'll be making a post request because we're creating something new. And uh, the, I don't know if you know this, but custom audiences are, um, or lookalike audiences rather, are also a type of custom audience. So when creating a new custom audience, uh, we need to actually specify uh, every time what subtype it is. And in this case, uh, the subtype is lookalike. And when we want to create a lookalike audience, we need to add this lookalike spec parameter and that we need to fill with some meaningful information. In this case, because we're creating campaign conversion-based lookalike audiences, that's also the conversion type. Uh, then the origin ID in this case, you know, normally it would be a custom audience ID. In this case, it's a campaign ID. Then you have a ratio, you know, this is the percentage uh, and then any type of geographic targeting as well. So in this case, I just chose the US. And uh, when creating, uh, when doing this, so um, all we basically need to do is, uh, you know, fill out the request. So this is ACT underscore, and then this is the actual account ID that you can um, get from business manager or from the URL when in ads manager, and then forward slash custom audiences. And then uh, we need to go into uh, the JSON field here and write something like this. And when I press submit, Facebook will just uh, the Facebook API will, will just reply with a with an ID, and the ID um, is now the ID of the newly created lookalike audience. Um, I normally add this uh, fields parameter, so question mark fields, and then equal to name ID lookalike spec, because then the reply that Facebook um, gets back to me with uh, actually adds a little bit more information. So adding this doesn't really change anything uh, to the request or to the uh, to the created audience, but it does change something to the reply that I get from Facebook. So I'll try and do this again. Uh, in this case, it actually says, well, I cannot create a duplicate lookalike because we just created it already. So I'm just going to choose a 2% one. And then now we can see that Facebook replied nicely saying, hey, you know, we created this lookalike audience. That's the name. So you'll be able to find it in ads manager under this name. This is the ID. Uh, and then a little bit more of the information that we already um, supplied to begin with. So I'm just going to create a few more, 5% um, one, 
10%. And then, uh, of course, with the API, we're not limited to the 10% to this kind of arbitrary limit from the ads manager, but we can actually go up to 20%. So now this 15% and a 20%. And so it doesn't go beyond 20%. So if I enter 0.21 here, it says, hey, choose a different size ratio. Um, it needs to be from 0 0.01 to 0 0.20. Cool. So this works perfectly fine. So if you have a Facebook app and uh, you basically need, just need to copy paste this code, um, enter your account ID, enter the campaign that you want to use um, or, or ad set that you want to use, and uh, basically just change the ratio and create this.